Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started on your reading. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. It just means that the message is for someone else. But in the meantime, you're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. Know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, all right? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. What's going on in your love life? You have the Nine of Cups, Fulfillment, Satisfaction. You have the Devil card that's here. Is someone like, <laughs> when I see the Nine of Cups, the Devil like this, it's like, is someone like um, just so intoxicated by you? <laughs> You know, I feel like that's what's going on here. The lovers, I mean, I, I feel like this is a person who just can't get enough of you. And feel free to reverse the roles. You could be the one who has become quite um, intoxicated by your lover and you just can't get, you just can't get enough of them, okay? Feel free to reverse the role. But I see a person here, they're in this Nine of Cups energy. Tell us more. Four of Cups, the Moon. This love has them going a little bit crazy, okay? Doing things that you wouldn't ever imagine. And they don't want to tell you the things that they've been doing, actually. It would be too embarrassing. It would be too embarrassing. So they want to, they want to keep it hidden. Um, this love has them doing things crazy. Doing things out of character that they're trying to hide. <laughs> this person just doesn't want to lose their chances with you. So whatever it is that they're doing that's crazy, it's out of fear, fear of losing you. But let's go back to this Nine of Cups. Fulfillment, satisfaction, and it's also a success card. You bring this person a lot of emotional fulfillment. I mean, you're really like a 10 out of 10, okay? Um, there's no going wrong when a person is with you. And this love is just getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter by the day, by the moment, by the hour. And it's this love is their drug, okay? The devil card represents uh, addictions and obsessions and possessiveness. And this love is their drug and it has completely intoxicated them. Um... The way this person acts when it comes to you, it may kind of, it may throw you off a little bit. You may actually think that something's a little bit off with them, okay? Um, I feel like with the lover's card, the lover's, it represents a soulmate connection, a soulmate bond. The lover's also represents free will. So by free will, they have chosen you, and clearly you have chosen them. It's two people here about to hold hands. So it's mutual, okay? The two of you feel this, this mutual soulmate bond. And they just continue. They, 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 they keep on falling in love with you more and more and more and more and more. It's just getting deeper. The love, the bond is getting deeper and deeper by the day um, is what I'm hearing. You haven't disappointed this person one bit. Um, and you know, I feel like with the world card here, that, uh, period of them being uncertain about the connection due to insecurities, that period of them questioning the connection or doing things out of curiosity about the connection, that period has ended. I feel like the two of you are very familiar with each other now. The two of you are no longer strangers. Um, and there's this level of comfort and familiarity. So that that initial chapter where like the two of you were still getting to know each other, still trying to figure out the connection, that initial chapter has completed. And you, the two of you have started a new chapter where you absolutely are certain of each other. You absolutely know... Um, that this connection has a higher purpose, that there is a divine plan for this connection. The two of you know what this connection is meant to be. There's no more uncertainty, curiosity. 
So that's how I'm reading the world card. It represents a successful completion. Okay. And then looking here, we have the four of cups and the moon. So the four of cups is unfulfillment, discontentment. It could also represent rejection. And then you have the moon. There, there's a lot of things that this person did that it would be so embarrassing if you were to find out. That's just the feeling that I'm getting. Um, <laughs> maybe you would even reject them if you were to find out some of the things that they've been doing and they would rather keep it hidden with the moon, which represents secrets. Um, they don't want you to find out because you would reject them. The Four of Cups. And uh, you have the Eight of Cups. Why did they do it? They did it so that you wouldn't leave or walk away from them. Eight of Cups is like, like why did they do those embarrassing things that they would rather keep hidden? <laughs> they did it in fear of you walking out of their life, walking away from all that the two of you have built. Um, and, you know, this person, in their mind, they're like, who else but me? And it's not coming from a cocky place, but they're looking at you and they're saying this love is undeniable. It can't be denied and they know that you feel it too. So who else but them? Why would you walk away from them? They believe that they deserve a commitment with you. And yes, the goal is marriage. Looking at this Ace of Pentacles, they believe that they deserve that ideal commitment that most of us want but they believe that they deserve it with you. They believe that they are your rightful partner. And they're like, I know you feel this connection too. Who else but me? If you walk away from me, who would you go to to have this Ace of Pentacles? Why? Why would you go to anybody else? They want this connection so, so bad. They're dying for a commitment with you. And... Yes, there are shameful things that they have done in fear of you walking away. And hopefully we can uncover what those things are um, in the extended. And I'm going to give some good guidance on, on how to move forward with this individual. And what else? What else would um, should you know about this, this person, this connection? So we're definitely going to dive in more. Um, in the extended reading and the link to the extended will be linked in the description box it'll also be pinned in the comment section it should be the very first comment that you see so thank you guys so so very much for tuning in thank you for your support and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to support the channel more take care everyone and i'll see you guys in the extended